Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make just these simple books. But there's a catch. Every time you duplicate these books, it goes to a different colour. And I only discovered this recently. I thought it was a really cool feature from Blender. I just wanted to make a tutorial on it. And I also got a good material for the pages of the book. So yeah, let's get started with this tutorial. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch our videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, please subscribe. It's free. Okay, so first of all, delete the default cube by pressing X and then delete. And now we need something to model with. So press Shift A. Add in a cube. And now press Tab to go into edit mode. Press S, Shift X to scale it along um, on every axis except for the X axis. And press SZ to scale it along the Z a bit. Get just a nice rectangle for our book. And now, get the three edges which are going to be the covers. Click on this one, and then Shift click on this one, and Shift click on this one. These are three sides that are going to be our covers. So press E. Then S to extrude faces outwards like this. So it's kind of looking like a book. And then press Alt E to bring up the extrude menu. And press extrude faces along normals. And now just extrude this out. Now we've got a nice book like shape. And this is all we really need for a book. You could press Ctrl B to bevel it a bit. Like that. But that's all for modelling we're going to do. Super easy stuff. Right. So now, press tab to go out of edit mode, right click, press shade smooth, go down to the object data panels and press go down to under normal to press auto smooth to make it look a little better. Alright, now we can get straight onto shading. So once you're in the shader editor, add a new material. So first of all, this is going to be our pages material for our pages. So what we have to do is press shift A and add a noise texture. Place that in there. Also press Shift A and add a colour ramp to give this thing its colour. Connect the colour of a noise texture into a factor of a colour ramp. And then the colour of a colour ramp into the base colour. Affecting a whole lot right now. It won't do later on. Now press Ctrl T whilst on the noise texture. Make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on. Go up here to Edit Preferences and then go to the add-ons and make sure it's enabled and set the scale on both the Y and the Z to zero. So we should end up with something like this. Now set the scale on the X axis to be quite high. And now it looks like there's lots of pages in our books. Obviously we don't want that much variation between each page. So set this colour ramp up here to a sort of greyish colour. Actually, that reminds me of something else you could kind of turn to a greyish colour. Yeah, can't place my finger on what it is though. Okay, next thing we need to do, this is just this material sorted. That's all we need to do here. So now we need to get onto the material of the cover. And this is going to be the colour changing one, that's what this tutorial is all about. So go down here to material settings, little sphere thingy. Click add a new material and click on new. Press tab to go into edit mode. Select your three inner faces wherever where the pages are. And then press control I to invert your selection. And now press assign to assign this new material. So now we should just have the page material in the middle and just a completely white material on the outside. So now let's start getting into the randomness of all this. First we'll press Shift A and add a hue saturation node. Press Shift A again. And now add an object info node. I think that's all the nodes. And get set the random for the hue and the value. So the hue is for basically the colour. The value is how black or white it is. And set the colour to be something like blue. I'll put the colour into the base colour. 
you've got this nice greenish color so if we were to press shift e to duplicate this there you go it goes to the yellow and now it's black and now it's purple and now it's pink and now it's an orange and you get the idea also if you change the color up here you can change the different colors for example if you were to put it all to just a white color you will just get monochrome different shapes of black and white this is very easy when you're creating things like libraries I think maybe if we were to add an array modifier onto one of these set the count up apply it and then separate these by loose parts by clicking P which all go to different colors so now makes it quite easy for bookshelves and yeah I just thought this was quite good anyway subscribe um, I come out with tutorials about three times a week now so subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this and also comment down below what tutorials you, you'd like me to do anyway see you next time bye